Hello and welcome to Trappist Nation. My name is Andreas and today we will review the Rockford 8. The recipe for today's uh, Rockford beers has been established since the 1960s. Minor tweaks are still made, of course, depending on the season and the quality of the ingredients supplied. The initial yeast for the beers uh, came from Chimay, but uh, they didn't perform well in the harder water at Rockford. So the yeast today is retrieved from the Rockford 6 and uh, Rockford 8 brews and are used for both the main fermentation and the re-fermentation. The spring of the Tridan, one uh, kilometer away, uh, in the hills above the abbey is the source of the hard water used for brewing at the abbey. Uh, the composition of the water turns out to be quite unique and an important factor in the taste of the Rockford beers. The spring barter itself uh, turns out is quite rich in calcium, making it pretty hard. While the basic recipe for the three original beers remains the same, uh, what makes each distinct is the amount of malt and candy sugar that's added. Rockford 8 is considered to be a so-called double and the youth among the three original beers from Rockford, which uh, first saw the light in 1954. So, what does it taste like? There is a punch of herbal aromas like uh, clove and, and soft chocolate notes along with some uh, hint of, of dairy. The taste is sweet with notes of, of caramel and, and dried fruit, um, milk chocolate, and with the malty itiness. This is really an excellent beer. Uh, it's super, super nice. So what's my verdict? I will give it a 3.9 out of 5. Thank you guys. Next week we are heading back to Achel to review their beer called Brun. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.